I've done the good looking ones. I've got to, Fair enough. Send it downhill from I've, here. I've got to it? do the ugly ones apparently. Are we? Right. Terrible. Morning, how we doing? Morning. Yeah, there's uh, pins, right. Like, Morning, <laughs> mean? Morning, how are you? Right. You right? Right. Point T24. How are you? How are we doing? Are you on YouTube? I will be. Will I'm, be. I'm the man who puts everything on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! 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 Terry's gonna hello. win! Terry's gonna win! Who's gonna win? Terry! Terry. 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 This man's gonna win, Terry! Making that, Terry. 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 Oh, don't worry about that, mate. That won't slow the bike down. Oh, you get say hi, say hi. Hey, Jack, 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 let's do a song. This man gonna win. 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 Mark, what's going down? Well, someone like getting sore ribs. Yeah, it's been too bony. Good throw, you've got no suspension, have you, on these? No, it's, it's good fun, though, really good fun. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob, how are you doing? Morning, Bob. Hello, mate. Right. How are you? I am. All right. Yeah. I don't want to take. Who had it? 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 Bye, Bob. Well, Chris. Quickly close it up. Yeah. Keep that camera off the bike, Bob. <laughs> what was that about a 1200? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's the business, isn't it? Good afternoon and welcome to Fritton and Grasspark, their first Grasspark of the season and today it is the Battle of Britain, an excellent entry has been assembled for the meeting, particularly in the um, 250s, 1000 sidecars and left hand sidecars, practice has gone very very well indeed, they look to be very very quick out there in practice, a lot of work has gone on to the track, a lot of watering overnight and it had rain here overnight so it should be in tip-top condition. This is the start of a very busy period for grass track with Fantasia's meeting next week and the Masters rapidly following that. All the championships coming up at Cornwall so the start of a very very hectic time. We haven't had too many meetings over the last few weeks so we're hoping for a, a cracking afternoon's entertainment this afternoon. Good crowd in already, double park over on the back straight as well as this side of the track so all systems go we should have a cracking afternoon's racing.
Well, it's coming out then for the first race of the day, 500 solo, sponsored by SA Eggleston Groundwork. this time just checking on Tom Costa's machine there in gate number six that looks to be okay up for the tape to where they go Tom Costa making an excellent start it's Mike Austin that's gone with him Austin just for his Tom Costa comes sweeping around the outside will get the corner first Costa leads there for Austin holding second stage he's got the third up the top for this one the bank is for the first time then Banking on the fifth corner on lap number one, Costa riding mid track. Austin's gone a little bit wider there in second place as Costa leads it for Austin holding second place. Dan Barrick's gone through in the third, Nick Stage top back to four feet, George in five, that's the final. Costa's getting away from the back, that's the moment. Costa's there in second place, Richard. 
so they can pick that up then. Tom Cotter leads it, but a wide ride in Mike Austin has got all oh, that. It's gone completely over there. Big Jaw has gone completely over one in fifth place. And Big Jaw is turning completely over there on that big He spun it round, it went over. Trapped him under it. So we've got four crews back on the line then to reach sort of race number two. And where we go again, Tom Costin made a good start again. Mike Austin, the one doing the chasing with Costa gets the corner first, looks across. He's going to get the corner before Austin stays his stuff through into third. Barrick is in fourth. They go in the back lane for the first time then. Slide down the bank and on the pitch corner and coming to the complete lap number one. Costa guy Austin using every inch of track at the moment. That's Costa leads then. But Austin in second. Braddock has now gone through on the inside sort of stage to move from the third place. Next stage will be second place. Second place. So Costa the clear leader, but Austin already in second. Berwick has got the third. Stace is in position number four. Pretty well spread out now, this first seat on the big chair action. Last lap flag, be made ready then. Costa well clear onto his last lap then. And Austin holding second place position. Beric has got the third. Stace is in fourth. Austin. Dan Berwick is going to pick up the third. And Nick Stace in fourth place. for the first time then the three of us for the lead position is North who's in the front then Phillips has got the second Holland is in third Penfold is in fourth again North sweeps back round the outside to retake the lead then with Phillips still holding that second place Phillips comes again back up the inside Holland not too far behind his third front again up the corner 
Hopefully, I'll have done nice and hard. But it's Philip who now has the lead at the front end. For North Pole in second. Holland is in third. Philip Van Pole is in fourth. And could be good distance. Having said that, North comes again, trying to find a way past Philip. So they go down that back straight once again. But North is a bit of a moment. Philip clears the front. between the four of them, they move it on the four then, so it's clear for North in second, Holland in third, Billy Penfold in four, going down the back straight for the final time. Number 98, Michael and Tim Phillips. Second, number 193, Steve North, Steve North Jr. And third, number 27, Joe and Jordan Holland. Four, one, two, five. One minute 29.59. One minute 29.59. Delete 22, putting number 66, Kevin Willem. And delete 25. And putting number 20, Bradley Phillips. Can we have a 
track crew, there's a load of stakes saying, please, we need this track crew. Adams is in fourth. 
Goodwin back in third place. Goodwin goes along the inside of Rinsley. There's Gobble, there's the race leader, he's gone wide, Goodwin taking him, much tighter line, but Gobble's got the speed around the outside, Gobble leads them, and Goodwin in second, Jenner is in third, but Hogg has now gone through on the inside, and moved through in the third place, there's Gobble really storming away to front. <laughs>
very good summer.
Morning, Wiley's your race leader, and that race leader is uh, Tommy Penfold being chased by number 98, Michael Phillips. So Penfold leads him, and Phillips holding second place position. James are in third, Billy Penfold is in fourth. And Good race to on development of front end is Penfold coming under pressure from Philip. Just a couple of bikes between these two. And it's not really wide there. Tommy Penfold, a chance for Phillips to get through on the inside. Phillips does get through on the inside. Phillips holds the lead, climbs the bank. And can Penfold get back round the outside? Oh, he's locked it up. Can turn it round a complete circle, but still adds on to his second place. Just there to Red Michael Phillips. Across the line, then for the second heat of the big chair action. Oh, 
For a change to where we go, Boomerol has made a bit of a good start there, and next Boomerol will need to come by the first time. This has gone through in the second place, at three abreast of third, Long Dallas gone through on the inside of the on the pitch corner of the first half. Fish using every inch of track. Boom roll is making it much tighter to line. Fish fish will lead and boom roll holding up second place. Fish and Derby is now going to drift in the third.
15, and a win for number 29, Tom Cotter, Wayne Rickards. Second, number 24, Terry Saunders, Liam Brown. And third, number 80, Will Offen, Ricky Pay. 68 and 18. 1 minute 19.75. 1 minute 19.75. That was over 4 seconds quicker than the opening heat that he won. 29, 24, 18. 68 and 18. Race 16, Mark Costa with Carl Bly in the chair. Oh, James Shames. He's got a bad shovel, hasn't he? Oh, Sorry? Oh, no, he's injured. The idea is to go there and become a Away we go then with this heat, another heat of the big chairs there. Oh, somebody coming right across in front of somebody else. That Mike Austin. Problems there. We don't seem to have a red flag out to a stop. Mike Austin leading, going down the back straight. We've got a two, one crew on the middle of the track, one crew over on that far side. I can't quite see what's going on. They all seem to come to a stop as Mike Austin leads and Simon Deeney is there in second. Will Penfold is in third. The racing continues anyway in a very eventful uh, race number 16. And it's Mike Austin who leads them from Simon Beanie in second. Will Penfold is in third. So we've got three So it's Mike Austin who leads it on the last lap there. And Simon Beanie is in second. Will Penfold is in third place. And they go to the back straight once again then. Second first to make and a pick of a winning ride this time then. Penfold in third place. The checker flag comes out and Mike Austin wins it. Tom and Benny comes across the line in second, with Will Penfold in third. Well, I can see Thomas Newton over on that left-hand side. Ryan Partridge is on the middle of the track, so apparently Mark Costa didn't leave the start line. Mark Costa up on the top side. Number 16 there, losing three crews in all, is won by 991 Mike Austin and Vinnie Branch. Second number 76, Simon Beanie and Sam Heath. And third number 22, Will Penfold, Freddie Wood. 1 minute 21.96, 1 minute 21.96. 991, 76 and 22. If you've lost your mobile phone in the pit area, we've got it here in the PA box. If you can come here and describe it, we can give it back to you. So if you've lost your phone in the pit area, the PA box. The back then to race 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 Consolidating third on the last half this time then. Harris clear then from Woody second. 
Watson got the third. Phillips is up to four. Darren Brock back to five. Harrison Ford is in six. Nigel is seven. Come down. Come down that man. Then, in a race down the back, 
into that race for first and second places. As the last up flag comes out then, four number one. 22 oh, Dave Allen is clearly Adam Solder at second place. Waddle is in third. Arm is in fourth. Snow is in five. That's still the five. Is the leader. First one of the afternoon coming up for 120. Dave Hammond. Second place is Martin Adam. And Waddle comes to Martin Adam. Race 19 result, win for 120, Dave Hammond. Second number 12, Martin Adams. And third, 177, Tom Waddle. Two, 189. One minute 20.62. One minute 20.62. 120, 12, 177, 2, 189. Race 20, another heat of the uprights with... Uh, Tim Cronot won a first time out, and also Bob Dolman won a first time out. Jason Prynne picked up a second in his opening ride, so we should be in super good action in race number 20.
the race to the back straight once again. Won't be looking to make it through this journey. Well, the
Donovan being up another good line there, holding on to that second place. Will often use the every inch of track in third, trying to get that second place as Fumarola leads him on the last lap. Then off and now moves through in his second relegated, being into third. Taylor is in fourth. Second, Beanie in third, Taylor in fourth, pretty well spread out now as Matt Fumarola gets the winning line. We'll often get to second, Simon Beanie in third, Taylor in fourth place. So result of race number 27, the winner number 15, Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson. Second number 80, Will Often, Ricky Payne. And third number 76, Simon Beanie and Sam Heath. Fourth number 21. 1 minute 22.94, 1 minute 22.94, 15, 80, 76 and 21. Race 28, delete number 69. Joe Sturridge's passenger is Adrian North. Just a four again for the look of it for race number 28. <coughs> Engine drive. Off for the time, so away we go then. And one of the crews is left on the line. And it's Fish who gets to start, Sturridge gets away in second, Will Penfold is in third, and Buckley is who's left on the line as they go down the back straight once again. Second relegating Sturridge is third with Buckley in third place. Coming through to complete the opener then. Fish leads it then from Penfold off in second. And now Sturridge is pulled off with down the three. Now Joe Sturridge is pulled off with down the three. Number 28, as the fish boy clear coming down that banking once again. It's uh, still Penfold off in second place. Fish lead is Penfold in second. Buckley is in third. They're dropping like flies in his third leg of the uh, fish Penfold old in second place. Buckley looks to be struggling there in third, but hanging on to that third place. On to lap four they go then. Fifth the leader. Penfold in second. Uh, again, another good ride from uh, Dale and Jordan Fish. Pick up another win ride. Second place is going to be uh, Will Penfold, and Dave Buckley will pick up the third place. The result in a race number 28, win for number 20, Dale and Jordan Fish. Second number 22, Will Penfold and Freddie Wood. And third, number 40, Dave Buckley, Steve Smith. 1 minute 21.03. 1 minute 21.03. 20, 22, and 40. Next seat, delete number 92. And I'll be surprised if Pete Shaw comes out. Could he turn over the first time, eh? Where we go then with another heat of the big chair action. And it's Terry Saunders making a good start. Mark Costa's got away in second place. To, and Mike Austin in third. And Mark Costa theoretically not programmed to be in this race. Cross on the inside, almost got through on the inside. He's alongside Cross, and now they go down the back straight once again. There's a point between these two races. Down that back straight. Point up the speed, trying to find a way through. On the inside, he's on that third place. Cross has gone wide again. 
Leeds are on the inside, but Cotter's carrying too much speed in the moment. As Cotter leads them, Ben Saunders in second, Austin has got the third, Dave is in fourth place. And slowly but surely, Mark Cotter and Carl Blind are getting away. Saunders at second. They start to struggle a bit now for the top three places. Down the back straight they go once again. Cotty only. Big stage still holds position number four as we watch the action for second and third coming up. That's it. Cotter wins it. Saunders gets second. In fourth place, Jordan Williams in position number five. The result then of race number 29 is win for number 37, Mark Cotter, Carl Blythe. Second number 24, Terry Saunders, Liam Brown. And third, 991, Mike Austin, Vinnie Branch. 18 and 46. 1 minute 18.97, 1 minute 18.97, the winning time, 37, 24, 991, 18, and 46. Race 30 is the start of the third leg of the 250s, delete 22, and 66, Kevin Willem, delete 815. Away they go then, Jordan Derrick has made a good start, so has Carl Benning, but if Benning is the leader, he's still going to sweep round the outside to come out in the lead position, he's gone really wide, but he has just got the lead then, but Benning still in second, Derrick is in third, Hayden Watts in four, Hawker is in five, Derrick is in six, up the top six, down the back straight, they go once again, back to the second and third. Coming down the bank in for the second time then. It's Derek who's still got a second, but Benning Field in third, Watts is in four, Phillips is in five, Derek in six, Knight in seven, Hawker in eight, Gwilym in nine, and the nine of them. The three down the bank straight in the second. Harris Lee then, Ben Derrick in second, Benning Field in third, Watts is in fourth, that's still the top four, they hurt down the back then again, again, Benning Field three, top down the second, Ben Derrick again, the back then, coming down that final corner, on top of the third, Duke Harris gets the winning ride, Derrick has gone wide but hangs on to second, Benning Field in third, Phillips in four, Watts in five, Derrick in six, Harris and Rogers in seven, Hawker in eight, Gwilym in ninth place. Race 30 results to win for number 26, Harry. Second number 247, George Derry. And third number 73, Carl Benning. Right, away with race number 31. We give the results that one after this one. And nice to have a good result. Red Hawks out of second place. Race number 31 then. And who's that coming right round the outside? It's Charlie Wood again making a move round the outside. He's come right round the outside. Wood leads them for Knight in second. Tim Gregg is in third place. Wood again tweets back round the outside. Super action between these three as Wood leads them for Knight in second. Gregg is on the third place. Richard is in four. That's the top four. And good action between them as they complete another lap then. Wood the clear leader then for Knight holding second. Gregg trying to get through on the inside to move through into third. Richard is in fourth place. And again they swap place to the second, third and fourth, that's 11 wood. Well, we've got one then. Nice to get back to the second, but again they'll come back to the inside the order. They come to the bank in once again. Wood is now cleared the front, on to his last lap then. Knight holds that second, Greg has got the third, Richard in four. Richard now gets round the edge of Greg to move back through into third. Greg now goes through from fourth to second, but Knight gets back round him again and Richard follows him through. So again, Greg, Greg drops back through second and fourth, now he moves back through into third place. This wood picks up the winning one, he's still on there for the place, he's got three of the second coming out of that last corner. Knight gets second, Richard's third, Greg in fourth. And 65 in fifth place.
Race 31, the race you've just seen. A win for number 33, Charlie Wood. Second number 229, Richie Knight. And third number 46, Austin Riches. 10 and 65. 1 minute 15.66, 1 minute 15.66, 33, 229, 46, 10 and 65. Race 30, a win number 26, Luke Harris. Second, 247, Jordan Derrick. And third, number 73, Carl Benningfield. 34, 41, 6, 108, 50 and 66. 1 minute 14.65. 1 minute 14.65. That brings you up to date. Race 32 is next then. Third leg of the upright solo. Tim Mounted pushed him wide then for Mars Adams holding second place. Spencer has got the third. Snow was in four. That's the top four. Is it going in the back straight once again there? Tim second place position. Spencer still hanging on to that third place. Snow was in four. Completing two then, still Mounted the leader. Adams holds second. Spencer is in third. Snow is in fourth. 155 within 5, Winslow is Look at the scrap of the front between Tim Mount and Martin Adams with the last lap flag being made ready. It's still Mount with a three bike advantage over Adams. And they go on to lap number four. Spencer's consolidating that third as is Snow in four. With Win and Winslow scrapping it over to 56 places. The race leader is Tim Mount. Coming down the bank in for the follow time in race number 33 to win the heat of the upright. Tim Mountain is against the winning line. Martin Adams comes across the line in second. 
Phil Spencer is going to be third. Rob Snow has dropped back to fifth. It certainly looks like Wynn has gone through into four. Snow is in five. Winslow in sixth place. The result of that race and a win for number 17, Tim Mount. Second number 12, Martin Adams. And third, 921, Phil Spencer. 155, 189 and 63. 1 minute 18.66, 1 minute 18.66, 17, 12, 9, 2, 1, 155, 189, and 63. And we go then to race 34, another heat of the 500 sidecars. Carl Benningfield is a passenger for Chris Neem. So we've had some cracking 500 sidecar action so far. On the line then, my crew's on the line for this race number 34. They're going to continue, they're going to continue. One's left the line, but something got up. We anticipate the start, red flag is out. Red flag is out, and I thought that was just a little bit too much of a flyer there for Josh. He really anticipated well that time. So coming back into line then to get to race 34 away at the second time of asking. Well, we go much cleaner start this time then. Looks like Smith has got a cracking start of each other back to race. Up and up for second and third play. They're going to be three abreast coming out down the bank and then coming through to complete the opening lap then. But it is Smith who has the advantage then for Nog, who's gone through in his second. Good win is in third. Hooker next come off the back of Hay there, so he's quickly on his knees there. Looks like the race is going to continue with this water. Red flag is out. Red flag is out again. We've got uh, Hooker next on the middle of the track now, slowly but surely getting to his feet. It looks as if he's okay. We're obviously off the back of uh, Chris Hay there, coming down that bank in for the first time. Away we go, and now Hog has lifted at the start, so he's got a lot to do with Smith again, gets an answer. Probably up in front of his face, so he's based way back down in third place with a lot to do then. As Smith leads him as they come by us the first time, and Goodwin holding second. Hog has got the third. Still Smith for the advantage, and can Goodwin close the gap in second place and go to that back straight once again then. Smith the leader. moment they come to the banking once again and Goodwin can't seem to close the gap on Smith. Smith taking a much wider line but getting the speed coming off the corner but Goodwin has definitely closed that gap now he's really closed the gap by half it's about two bikes down now as they go down the back straight once again it's still Smith the leader back in third again to be getting closer and closer as Smith goes wide this time. Goodwin could get through on the inside, which is exactly what he's done. But Smith again trying to come back round the outside. But Goodwin leads and he's on the inside. Smith has got the speed round the outside, trying to come right back, back round the outside of Goodwin going down that back straight. Smith holding second. Hawk is in third. Second flag comes out for Josh Goodwin is going to win this three times started race number 34. Smith gets second. Hog in third place. Race 34, then a win for number three, Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. Second number 842, Jordan Smith and Joe Page. And third number 73, James Hogg, Scott Goodwin. 1 minute 14.85, 1 minute 14.85, 3, 842, 73. Race 35, delete number 98. Could be interesting indeed with Sean Hughes on beating Mitch Gordon and Paul Whitelam and Phil's been getting better with each ride so it could be an intriguing race number 35 particularly if Sean Hughes can get out the start this time. Gordon has got an absolute
absolute fly, that's left you. He's got to win. In third place, he now goes through into second place. Can he get to Godden after Godden gets an absolute fire from the outside gate? Then Godden leads and Hughes holding second place. Fielder's got the third. Jenna is in fourth. Paul White and left to the tape. So this Tom as Godden continues to lead going down that back straight once you've won. Closing up on Godden at the moment. They come to the bank in once again. It's Godden. Jenna Hughes and Benning holding second place. Field has got the third, Jenner is in four, Whiteham is in five. Down the back straight they go once again, they start to close up. This is Using Bennett now, it looks at me. It's on beaten ways, he leads them on to. Gotten leads it for news, holding second. Field has got the third, Jenner is in four, Whiteham is in five, they really spread out now. Promise to be a Field picks up the third, Jenner in fourth, Whiteman in fifth place. Race number 35, who win for number nine, Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith. Second number 77, Sean Hughes, Lewis Bennett. And third number 42, Simon Field, Shane Freeman. 87 and 92. The winning time, the quickest for the 500 sidecar so far, 1 minute 11. 1.53, 1 minute 11.53, 9, 77, 42, 87, and 92. Race 36, another heat of the 350 solos, another of the rider in action, Cameron Taylor. into third place. A oh, good action between these three. They come down the bank in for the first time then. Taylor the leader for Mears in second. Whitaker in third. Hickbot in four. Clifton is in five. Hollenby in six. Thirlby in seven. That's a seven of them. Down the back straight they go once again. Cameron Taylor. In the second and third places as Taylor is the clear leader. Mears right in mid-track. Whitaker goes for drive round the outside to try and move through into that second place. Bishman Mears putting all his experience to play. Just about hanging on the second but then Completing the lap, that one and moving on to lap four. Taylor totally on trouble at the front. Whitaker holds the second. Mears in third. Hitmod in four. Clifton in five. Philby six. Wallaby seven. Come on, the Final time complete on the performance so far. Cameron Taylor picks up another winning ride. Whitaker's down to hang on to second. Mears gets the third. Hitmot in four. Clifton five. Philby six. Wallaby in seventh place. Race 36 result to win for 101, Cameron Taylor. Second number seven, Andrew Whitaker, And third number 19, Dave Mears. 17, 51, 47, and number five. The winning time, one minute 11.69. One minute 11.69. 101, seven, 19, 17. 51, 47, number 5. Race 37, delete number 7. Sponsored by S.A. Eggleseed Groundworks. Where we go then, 
and it looks like Tommy Penfold has made a good start. Josh Penfold didn't make the best of start. Tommy Leader. And Holland to move through into second. Billy Penfold is in third place. That's the top three. As it's a 96. Tommy Penfold who leads and from Holland's hold in second place. Billy Penfold is in third place. Josh Penfold is in fourth. Josh Tronic moves through into third, but Billy Penfold is hanging on to that third place. Still clear there, but Holland's hold in second place. Billy Penfold is in third. Josh Penfold still in fourth and can't improve upon fourth at the moment. As Tommy Penfold is getting away the front, the Holland still holds that second plate. Billy Penfold still in third. Now Josh Penfold gets through inside Billy Penfold. Billy Penfold against back on the outside to retake third place. Josh Penfold is running back on the inside. These two locked together for third and fourth places. Tommy Penfold is getting away the front. Holland's are hanging on to that second place. Billy Penfold still hanging on to third with Josh Penfold back in fourth. As the leader climbs the bank in for the final time on that pitch corner, that's Tommy Penfold and William Nathan. They're getting away. And the front Holland still holds that second place. Billy Penfold still hanging on the third, despite the best efforts of Josh Penfold. And it's going to be 96. Tommy Penfold will get to the right. Holland's will pick up the second. Billy Penfold is in third. Josh Penfold in fourth. Carly Booth in fifth place. The result of race 37 is a win for number 96, Tommy Penfold, William Naden. Second number 27, Joe and Jordan Holland. And third, 125, Billy Penfold, Callum Ray. 16 and 69. 1 minute 22.91. 1 minute 22.91. 96, 27. 125, 16 and 69. Race 38, delete 128. Tommy Penfold's passenger is Ryan Barker. And 124th, of course, had also a non starter. Rob Heath, of course, on beat in his opening two outings. He's in action in this race number 38. moment, but Heath leads him, and North trying to come round the outside of him, but Heath has covered that move, Heath leads him for North in second, Tony Penfold is in third, Downs are in fourth place, that's a four, they go up the back straight, once again Penfold's got inside, North he goes for the second place, that's the main action, second and third place, so Rob Heath's already getting well clear at the front then, still the Tony Penfold hanging on to that second place position, with North relegated to third, Downs are in fourth. They start to get a little bit spread out now in this seat on the left hand side. Johnny Penfold trying to close the gap in second. These two are getting away from the North who fill the third. With Downs in fourth, up the bank, and they go once again on the last lap. It's still Rob Heath and Carl Fish totally in control. But, uh, Second place. Watch him coming down the bank in for the final time. Tony Penfold gets a little bit closer, but Robbie makes it three to three. Tony Penfold gets the second. Norse pick up the third. Mike Downs in fourth place. Race 38 result to win for number 18, Rob Heath, Carl Fish. Second number 25, Tony Penfold, Ryan Barker. And third, 193, Steve North, Steve North Jr. Fourth, 113. 1 minute 22.22. 1 minute 22.22. 18. 25. 193. 113. Race 39 could be very interesting indeed on beating Edward Kennett, Aaron Butcher, Chad Words fault. All in action and Chad was really chasing after Edward Kennett when he had machine problems last time out. So this could prove to be an intriguing race, race number 39.
And when we go then, it's tight and it's sad, you can it make any good start who's that kind of way with it? Not winding on right round the outside, and Eddie Kenny on the inside. Can he push Words foul wide? No, he can't. And Words foul leads it. Then can it hold in second place? Butcher has got the third on that strange machine again. So this is where the action is the front. Words foul leads in. Can he do the chasing? In second place. Interest, can it's gone even wider, that's low, Words felt to get away the front then. Words felt leads in, then can it hold in second, Butcher has got the third, hit mod in four, the ball is in five, Phil be in six, up the top six, but Edward Kenny can't get the chat, Words felt to get his wide and on, successful stuff coming down that bank in once again, and it's Words felt to lead him on the last lap then, can it hold that second place position, Butcher has got the third place, hit mod in four, the ball is in five, Phil B is in six, that's the top six, if you want to lead it, Chad Wordsfell, we're in four, and he's on, coming down that bank in four, the whole time, Chad Wordsfell wins it, Edward Kennett leads for the first of the top of the new, comes across the line in second, or a butcher is in third, Hickmott four, the ball five, Phil B six, 65 is in seventh, and 45, James Peters, the last rider to cross the line. Race 39 result, a win, and a very impressive win there for 69, Chad Wordsfell. Second, number six, Edward Kennett. And third, number seven, Aaron Butcher, who should be number 20, of course. 17, 26, 47, 65, and 45. One minute, 6.81. One minute, 6.81. 69, 6, 7, 17, 26, 47, 65, and 45. Right hand side cars are next. Delete number 69. Tom Costa, of course, on beaten at the moment. Adrian North is the passenger for Joe Sturt Ridge. Four crews on the line for race 40. Away we go then with race number 40. And Simon Bean again has made a cracking start there, but, and he needs the corner of a map. Fumarola quickly around the outside to move through to the lead position then. It's Fumarola leading. Tom Cotton at the back. He's come through from fourth to second already and sets about chasing Matt Fumarola. Also made a terrible start there did Tom Cosby is quickly making up the ground. Andy Wilson anxiously looking back from the back of Matt Fumarola to see how close Tom Cosser is. They go down the back straight once again. Fumarola leads in. That's Trump going down that back straight and into that pitch corner. But still Fumarola with the advantage. And Tom Cosser taking a much tighter line. Can he maintain the speed as he chases up to Fumarola once again? He's two bikes down now as they climb the bank and over on that far side down the back. Straight there, Cosser again, he's a bike down now, coming down that bank, the corner, will Fulmerola hold the line, while Cosser pushing wide, Cosser's turned on a six-foot there and gone through on the inside, Fulmerola trying to get back round the outside, does get back round the outside, but Cosser comes again, back up the inside, Fulmerola's coming again, what a brilliant Cosser coming through for the last to first, he leads, coming down that bank, and once again with his second place, he's made ready to maintain his unbeaten record so far. Brilliant ride, Tom Cosser. Second place for Matt Fumarola. Stuart Rich picks up the third, Simon Beanie in fourth place. But Tom Cosser turned that bike on a sixpence coming down that pit, scorn to find a way through on the inside of Matt Fumarola. Absolutely brilliant ride there by Tom Cosser. Super sidecar action there in race number 40, brilliantly won by number 29, Tom Cosser, Wayne Rickards. Second number 15, Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson. And third number 13, Joe Sturt, Richard, Adrian North. Fourth number 36. One minute 19.84. One minute 19.84. 29, 15, 13, and 76. Race 41, sponsored by S.A. Egglesdean Groundwork. What even is uh, Clint Blondell didn't come out the last time, it? and it'll be interesting if Mark Cosser comes out this time again with Carl Bly in the chair.
So revving up then for another heat of the big chairs. Should be another cracking hit of big chair action. Up for the team, so away they go. Who's got out? Costa has got out, but he swerves across the track. Terry Saunders trying to find a way around the outside, but was blocked that move there. And it's Costa leads, and Saunders again trying to get through on the inside, but Costa leads going down that back straight. Saunders got that. <laughs> Corner once again, super mid track. Terry Saunders again trying to turn himself inside out to get the speed on the inside line. It's Ryan Partridge has got the third place position. We look at that scrap at the front then between Cossa and at the moment. As Cossa leads the once again, Saunders holds that second place position. And then Cossa leader, Saunders holds second, Partridge is in third. That's still the uh, top three. Buckley is in fourth place. He's running himself a big lead. Terry Saunders can't close the gap. He's going in second place as the last lap flag comes out then for your race leader. Can't blind the chair then. Saunders holds the second place position. Partridge has got the third. Buckley is in fourth. In between first and second. So Mark Cosser is going to pick up this time then, Cossa wins it, Saunders comes across the line in second, Mark in third, Buckley in fourth place. Race 41 then, a win for number 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe. Second number 24, Terry Saunders, Liam Brown, and third 514, Ryan Partridge and Kev Jones, fourth number 40. 1 minute 19.41, 1 minute 19.41, 37, 24, 514 and 40, race 42, delete number 92. coming out for race number 42. Revving up and away we go then, we'll offer lift set slightly out of the start, but got it down very quickly. But again, his fish has made the start, he leads up and Will Penfold holding second place. That's the top two, they go to the back straight once again, one more left completely on the line, there against the race. Penfold all in that coming down the bank in 4 the first They're at the front again with Penfold in second. Will Offen has got the third place position. Taylor is in four with Jordan Williams in five. But down the back himself, Penfold is coming under pressure, Will Offen's gone right round the outside to move through into second place as Fish leads in, but Offen is not second, Penfold now relegated to the third, Taylor is in fourth, Williams in five, that's the order, it's all the way to the front, again this afternoon, down the bank and they come with a big leader back to the top, then, Fish clear then, but Offen holding second, Will Penfold has come to a stop, will hold in third place, so Taylor now goes to the third. Again, he could coast down to pick up the As the fifth place water just started his last lap now, the race leader comes to take the second flag. It's Fitch who gets the second flag. Will Offen is in second. And Paul with a six bike will come across the line in fourth with Jordan Williams in fifth place. The result of race 42, a win for number 20, Dale and Jordan Fish. Second, number 80, Will Offen, Ricky Pay. And third, number 21, Corey Taylor, Kieran Newman. 22 and 46. One minute twenty point seven nine. One minute twenty point seven nine. Twenty, eighty, twenty one, twenty two, and forty six. Into line they come then for race forty three, which is the fourth leg of the uh, 
350s. Cameron Tain on beat at the moment, going into this fourth leg. Away they go, and it's Andrew Whitaker making a good start. Cameron Tain is going to Tesla on the inside and Dave Mears is following him round the outside as well. Can Taylor hold the line? He drifts wide, but he's got the speed to carry him through. As Taylor leads him from Whitaker in second, Mears is in third. Clinton is in fourth, going up the back straight once again then. It's still Cameron Taylor really being chased by Andrew Once again, Cameron Taylor holding the line. Whitaker going right round the outside, but slowly but surely, Taylor's getting away at the front then. Taylor still leads them from Whitaker in second. Clifton's gone through in the third, relegating Dave Mears to fourth. As they go to the back straight, once again then. Still Taylor, clear them from Whitaker holding them. Coming on the start, the last half of the time then. Whitaker's gone really wide. Cameron Taylor's really pulled away now at the front as Taylor leads them from Whitaker in second. Mears has retaken that third. Hickmont is up to four. Thirdly is in five. Six. That's the top six of the Watt to race leader going coming down the mountain for the final time. Four on this line coming up for Cameron Taylor. He wins the fourth and final race. Second place is Andrew Whitaker. Third place is Dave Mears. Fourth is going to be Gareth Hickmott. Five is Will Thirlby. Sixth, Dave Hollinsby. Clifton in seventh place. Result of that race, sending to win for 101, Cameron Taylor. Second, number seven, Andrew Whitaker. And third, number 19, Dave Mears. 17, 47, 51, and number five. One minute, 12.87, one minute, 12.87. 101, seven, 19, 17, 45, 51, and number five. Next race online is race 44, the 250 solo final. 33, 26, 46, 10, 73, 247, 34, 229, 41, and number 50 on the riders involved. So coming to line then, race number 44, the 250 solo final, all finals are straight finals. Away they go, then who's going to get the drop? Number to go through in the second place. Looks like Charlie Wood or Luke Harris has got the speed round the outside. In fact, Luke Harris has got the drop. Charlie Wood has gone into the fence over there as Luke Harris leads. And Greg in second, Phillips is in third, Benningfield is in fourth. The rating on the yellow flag, red flag is out, red flag is out. He was just trying so hard, coming off that top corner, just literally kept going towards the stakes, couldn't straighten up quick enough, and it is Charlie Wood that comes down on the first uh, end of the 250 solo final. Final and it's Luke Harris again. This medical start. 
over on the far side of the track, the 250 final is coming around on lap of honour, desperately bad luck there on Jordan Derrick, was in the mix very much there for third place, dropped it on that final corner, so well done to Jordan, but show your appreciation as the other lads come round on their lap of honour, cracking 250 final, one of the best supported classes in the sport at the moment is the uh, 250 class, so show your appreciation. Led round there by Carl Beddingfield. Then we've got Mr. Phillips, Austin Riches, Mr. Knight, Luke Harris, the winner, and Adam Hawker, all coming round on their uh, lap of honour. Result of that race, then, it's a win for number 26, Luke Harris. Second, number 34, Mr. Phillips. And third, number 73, Carl Beddingfield. Ten. 46, 229 and 50. 1 minute 15.9, 1 minute 15.9, 26, 34, 73, 10, 46, 229 and 50. Race 45, your point final 16, 726, 120. 17, 25, 12, 2 and 9, 2, 1. Bob Dorman on beating the heat going into the jump right final. Wherever up then for the up right final. And where we go then, Dorman's made an absolute floor on the outside of the grid. That could be crucial. Dave Hammond's got to wait until he's in the second place. Hammond is in third. Tim Kurnock has made a bad start. He's got to work his way through the pack at the moment then. But it's John Beaton. Dorman who leads him from Prinner's almost in the rope there. He's in second. Hammond in third. Adams in fourth. Kurnock in five. Mount in sixth. There's four riders again going for the third place position. As Dorman leads him. 
They're coming around a lap of honour for the uh, upright solos. Excellent final there for the uprights. Bob Dolman, who has won it. So, unbeaten all the afternoon is Bob in the heats and the final. So, show your appreciation there to Bob. Tim Kurnop comes round with him. Dave Hammond, Tim Mount and Martin Adams all round on their lap of honour. The result of that race then is a win for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second number 25, Jason Prynne. And third, number 17, Tim Mount. 120, 726, 12, 177, 921. 1 minute 14.34, the winning time. 1 minute 14.34, 16, 25, 17, 120, 726, 12, 177, 921. Next race is the uh, 500 sidecar final. 9. 377, 42, 92 and 73. Mitch Godnon beaten going into the heat. I think it all depends on whether you can make the start. It has to do with the hard way all the afternoon. Completely missing the start. Just four of his races. If he can get out of Mitch Godnon, he could make it a very intriguing final. Of course, if Josh Goodwin makes a good start as well, we could have a tremendous three-way battle for him. So an intriguing race 46, 500 sidecar final. Interesting, it's got to go right over that far side to the outside gate for this final. First thing, and that's exactly where he's gone. So that's very interesting indeed. Obviously wants a clear run down that back straight in the first corner, that's what he's counting on. Then it can get out the start. They're revving up to the 500 side car final. No way. Oh, using that in front. Well, yeah, yeah, every race they've done that, they're back in this place. That second place, Vision Paul Whiteland has got the third. So none of the fans and runners apart from Godden in the top three at the moment. As Godden is a race leader then, from Phil Gonson is second. Whiteland is in third, Hughes is in four, Goodwin is in five, Hogg in six, that's a six, a three abreast for third place going down the back foot. Look at Hughes. Phil Gonson abreast for third place and Goodwin trying to get through on the inside. Hughes and Bennett making a move round the outside and that's allowing Godden to get away at the front. Godden leads up from Whiteland is second, Goodwin is in third, Hughes is in Four fielders drop back to fifth. They go down the back straight once again. That was desperately tight. Right the back. Corner. Right on third. Goodwin has got this. Right them second. Goodwin's got the third. We're using Benny back in four. They're on the last lap this time then. Godwin is the clear leader. White has got that second place. Goodwin gets inside him. Can White them come back round the outside? No, he can't. He's still a great Right round the outside of that top corner as Mitch Gordon gets a winning ride. Goodwin gets the second, a race for line. Whiteland is third, Hughes and Bennett four, 
Building 5, Hog in 6th place. So an unbeaten performance by Mitch Godden. He's won the heats, he's won the final as well, but Hughes and Bennett again, right up in the air at the start. They got away in 5th place, and you cannot give somebody like Mitch Godden a big start like that. They battled through, but they just left themselves too much to do after another dreadful start. So show your appreciation as the 500 sidecars come round on their love of honour. Show your appreciation, first time in, the, in this country this season for Mitch Godden and Paul Smith, a superb unbeaten performance, comprehensive winning the heats. They won the final as well, so show your appreciation. They come round on their lap of honour. I say first outing in this country. Just Goodwin and Liam Brown, they come round the lap of honour. Hughes and Bennett wanted to... But a disappointing afternoon for them with the stars. Paul Whiteland, a brilliant third place. Mr. Field come round and James Hogg as well, all on their lap of honour after a cracking 500 sidecar final. The result then is as follows. A win for number nine, Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith. Second number three, Josh Goodwin, Liam Brown. And third number 92, Paul Whiteland and Richard Webb. 77, 42, and 73, 1 minute 12.66, 1 minute 12.66, 93, 92, 77, 42, 73. Race 47, 500 solo, final 669, 202, 26, 17, 20, 45, and 47. Revving up and away, and his Kenneth has made a good start. They look like he's got a good start. Place when he pointed on down the banking, yes, he does. Kenneth's gone wide, and Wordsfeld's taking a much tighter line as he got the speed to get through on the inside. Kenneth leads by a bike from Wordsfeld in second place. Kenneth leads up the banking once again. Wordsfeld pushing hard there in that second place. This is Kenneth's got real speed at the moment. Wordsfeld's passing his first again. This is what he's posing. Coming down. Oh, he's dropped it again. He has dropped it while holding second place. As Kenneth's cleared the front now, they're being chased by Aaron Butcher in second place. Motel has got the third. Theobald in four. Hickmont is in five. Jack Wurzel has got no one again in the back. Definitely bad luck on you guys. Looking up to the evidence coming down that bank. But it's four. It's there. Eddie Kenneth now well clear on to the back of the four. Kenneth the clear leader. From Butcher on a borrow bike holding that second place. Botel is in third. Hickmont is in four. Theobald is in five. Peters is in six. Sylvie in seven. That's the top seven. As he's the leader. Eddie Kenneth coming down the bank. Back to the sport, it's Eddie Kenneth who wins the final of the final. Alan Butcher gets the second. Alfie Bolt, Teller's in third, Gareth Hickmott in four, Theobald is in five, Peters in six, and Thurlby in seventh place. Again, show your appreciation for them coming round a lap of honour. Good return back to the sport for Eddie Kennett there. First outing of the season. Commiserations there to Chad, who was trying so desperately hard there in second place. Good to see that he was OK, because it was quite a high-speed crash. But uh, show your appreciation for the lads all coming round after a superb 500. To Alfie Botel leads them round there on their lap of honour. Aaron Butcher done extremely well on borrowed machinery this afternoon. Eddie Kennett, winner of the race. Mr. Theobald, Mr. Peters, Mr. Thilby and Gareth Eckmark all round on their lap of honour. Result to that one then is a win for number six, Eddie Kennett. Second number seven, Aaron Butcher. And third, 202, Alfie Botel. 17, 26, 45... 47, winning time 1 minute 09.28, 1 minute 09.28, 6, 7, 202, 17, 26, 45, 47. 
Next race is the left-hand final, 18, 98, 96, 25, 27, 193. Rob Beach again, another on Beach Rider going into the final. So certainly then for the left-hand, this is our final penultimate race of the day. Off the tapes, away they go, looks at me, the Peter's got away and Pan Bowl's gone away with him. That's the top two, they go down the back straight, 40 first time. First time Penfold going for drive round the outside of that bank and cutting back for the inside run, but it's Heath that leads in from Penfold holding second. Phillips has got the third place position. That's the top three. Heath leads it then from Penfold in second. Phillips trying to find a way through on the inside, almost got through on the inside. Places. It's Heath the leader from Penfold holding second. Phillips has still got the third. Hollands are in four. Penfold is in five, North is in six, that's a six of them as they climb the bank in once again. It's still Heath the clear leader from Penfold, so just hanging on. Hollands have gone round in a big heap up on that pits corner. Somebody catching the back of them as well. There's two crews involved climbing out the bank in from the pits corner. Red, red flag is out. Red flag is out. The result of that race will stand after three laps. It's a win for number 18, Rob Heath and Carl Fish. Second, number 96, Tommy Penfold and William Naden. And third, number 98, Michael Phillips and Tim Phillips. The only three finishers, obviously no time. It was three laps. Final race of the day then is the 1000cc right hand sidecars, just to give you the new running order for that, 29, 20, 15, 991, 24 and 37. The left handers coming round on their lap of honour, so show your appreciation as they come round on their lap of honour for the uh, left handers. And we're just left with the big 1,000 sidecar race, final race of the day. Chasing the winners come round the lap of honour then. They've got four crews coming round, the first, second and third, and Steve North and Steve North Jr. This could prove to be a very, very interesting final indeed. So the revised order is 29, 20, 15, 991, 24 and 37. Six crews out then for this 1,000cc sidecar final. Could be four hectic laps. Everybody ready? They're frantically revving up. Revving up a little bit too quickly there. They settle down again. Somebody not quite happy there on the towards the outside of the grid. Settle back down again. 
This time they look ready, away we go, it's a clean break, they've all got away, who's going to get the wholesale drop? And it's Terry Saunders who leads in from Tom Costa, who's got that second place, Mark Costa is in third place, Mark Costa goes between two orders to lead, Terry Saunders against Warwick and back round the eight. decision is bunching on the first corner all six crews if they're fit to go back to the restart so Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson if you are okay you can go back in the restart if you can hear this over there Oh, so it looks if they're starting to reassemble then to get this uh, big sidecar final away at the second time of asking. <clears throat> right, they start to rev up. Away we go, look a bit a little bit of a ragged start. The crew on the inside made an absolute fly, and that is Tom Costa. Chris Terry Saunders getting the corner first. Tom Costa in second, Mark Costa in third. Saunders has a bit of a moment. Tom Costa has gone through on the inside. Saunders again. Back round again. They're going to be three of us coming down the bank in for the first time. The two Costa with Terry Saunders tucked into third place. Saunders goes back for the inside run to try and get inside. He gets inside Mark, but he can't get inside Tom. But Saunders now gets inside Tom. Tom again squeezed back round the outside then. It's Tom Costa who leads it. Saunders running out. Second place gets inside brother Tom and Leeds coming down the bank in once again. It's Mark who leads from Tom holding second. Saunders has got the third place. It's Mike Austin in fourth place. They go up the bank in once again. Tom Costa leads. Mark Costa leads from Tom Costa. It's Saunders in the third place. It's, uh, back in fourth. Come to the bank in once again with the last lap flag being made ready. It's Mark Costa leads a big chair final from brother Tom who has got the second place. Terry Saunders is there in third. Dale Fish has now gone through in the fourth. Mike Austin relegated to five and Tom Cotton in third. Another coming down the it's Thomas Dolan to march on Mark. He's pushed Mark White coming out of the corner and Tom Costa wins it. Tom Costa wins it. Mark Costa gets the second. Ter Terry Saunders is in third. Del Fish in four. Mike Austin in five. Matt Fumarola in sixth place. And Tom Costa came from absolutely nowhere there. It looks if Mark has got it sewn up then suddenly going up the back straight for the final time. Tom gave it absolutely everything. He managed to squeeze inside Mark. He held his line on the inside of that pit corner. He pushed Mark wider and wider and wider coming down the banking. And it's Tom Costa who's stolen a march and won the big 1,000cc sidecar final this afternoon. So show your appreciation. As always, an absolutely brilliant final for the 1,000cc sidecars. But it's younger brother Tom that's stolen the, the honours today with a superb move on the final corner. Tom Costa was standing passenger car blind come round on their lap of honour we've got uh, Mark, Tom Costa who has won the event, he's delighted about that, Dale Fish another tremendous performance again from the Fish lads, Terry Saunders there or thereabouts in that final along with Liam Brown and um, Matt Fumarola and Andy Wilson but what a brilliant final that was and what an absolutely super Mike Austin as well come round on his lap of honour he's lost his sidecar spoiler wheel there but an absolutely superb 1000cc sidecar final Superb, superb 1000cc sidecar final 
one by number 29, Tom Cosser and Wayne Rickards. Second number 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. And third number 24, Terry Saunders and Liam Brown. Dale and Jordan Fish finishing in fourth, number 20. Mike Austin, Vinnie Brandt in fifth. And Matt Fumarola, Andy Wilson in sixth place. The winning time, 1 minute 19.66. 1 minute 19.66. 29, 37, 24, 20, 991 and 15. That concludes the entertainment. Don't forget the presentation. He pushed Mark wider and wider and wider coming down the banking and it's Tom Cosser who's stolen a march and won the big thousand cc sidecar final this afternoon. So show your appreciation. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have much luck all day, but... Yeah, yeah. Down all right. It's <laughs> a good one, it counts in the final. It's the one it matters. 
Thank you. Luke, you'll be delighted you this. Not had too much luck this season. So good to be back on the winner's roster room again. Yeah, we've had a few issues at uh, the start of the season. So I think as the chance are coming up now, we're just trying to get things in place and uh, make sure we're ready for that. So yeah, it's nice to have uh, another win on the bench again this season. Again, as I said, this 250 is a very, very competitive class now, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even if you just don't make a start, I mean, you know, by the time we get to the first corner, the rest of the boys are all gone. So, um, it's just the important little things we need to keep on top of. And, and uh, you know, again, like I say, get ready for the championships, which is the one that matters. That's how much you need. You're one, two, three, and two. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we now go to the 3.50s, raced over four-point scoring rides. Finishing in third place, Joe Hickmott. Finishing in second place, the years continue to go by, but still always there or thereabouts. Runner up in the 350s, Dave Lewis. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, and the winner of the 350s, I'll say it again, this young man does get better every time he's out there. He's been taught very cleverly by his father to take each meeting as it comes. Superb, on the performance today. The winner of your 350s, Cameron Taylor. Right, just before we introduce the top three, Clive Salmon is very, very kindly handed those Kevlars back to Graham Hurry, and he wishes for them to be auctioned at the British Masters final. So if you fancy having those Kevlars at Paul Hurry, Clive Salmon, we thank you very, very much indeed. They will be put up for auction at the British Masters in a couple of weeks' time to raise even more money for Chris Townsend. Thank you very much. Gareth, yeah, good result today and no mishaps. No, thankfully, we, uh, we've got two today with no worries. Um, probably a bit long in the two now for two classes with all the youth coming through, but we just keep plugging away and ended up with a result and happy days. It's only halfway through, we're well, halfway through the season, but because of rain off and various things, a lot of your riders haven't done too many meetings at all, have you? No, to be fair, I mean, you can still probably count on one hand what most of us have done. Um, obviously, some of us can get out abroad and pick up a couple of extra rides out there. But, uh, no, just playing catch up now with what means to come around. Thank you very much indeed. Dave, still on the roster now. A few years go by, but you're still there and there about. He's very quick, he's very controlled as well out there, isn't he? Yeah, a lot quicker than the old man. I'd rather ride here fast. <laughs> 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 well, the market just stood over there, so he's obviously heard that. Another so, enjoyable day for you, Dad. Yeah, I'd like to have a little play on the upright as well, but I don't think my character is on my side anymore, so it's too... Yeah, I'm not going to look back with that. You're two years younger than me. Thank you very much. Cameron, running performance again. Yeah, no, it was all good. Yeah, that's lovely. Nice to get some more experience. Lots of rumours going round at the moment. Do you want to tell us what you're going to be riding at the British Championship and which class you're going to be riding? I haven't got a clue, to be honest. I've still got to make, make my mind up. Yeah, you know. You've got the chance of two classes, have you? Is that correct? Yeah, I've been offered to ride in uh, 250 and the 350, but still yet to make up my mind. After the win today, are you possibly thinking about the three fifties? Yeah, most likely, but there is still a possibility I might go on the two fifties. 
Yeah, we have a big say as well. Yeah, yeah, darling, granddad. No, he won't tell me. Looking at him, well done, you won two, three, and three, and three, and three, and three, in third place, the gentleman has come on leaps and bounds in his 2023 season. Probably the biggest win performance of his career so far. Third place, Tim Lowe. Finishing in second place a couple of years ago, we thought we lost this young man to the sport, but he's come back in a big way, putting another tremendous performance this, this afternoon. Runner up, Jason Prince. And the winner of the off-point superb on the performance, Bob Dorman. Okay, we'll have a word with Tim. Tim, the results are getting better and better so far this season. Yeah, they are. But after it's only fourth meeting two years after injury, so yeah, just enjoying it, and it's nice to have a smile back on your face. How much of your career to get third today? Do you think? It's uh, one of them. One of your best rides, yeah. So it's really, really good. Looking forward to the championship in a few weeks' time. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah, that's it. Be there. Jason, again, another excellent performance for you today. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, and you'll be able to, unless you don't want to come, I'll take second. He takes a bit of catching once he gets out, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm an old man, but he's not going to have Bob, your response to that question, he's an old man and you're even older. Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's got time on his side, hasn't he? So, uh, yeah, uh, track was a bit, yeah, iffy yeah. today, I would say. That's All the riders it. said Mike. it wasn't the normal fitting track. Uh, I think maybe for conditions, and we didn't have the meeting in uh, May here. But um, in the end, it got, yeah, it did get better as it went on. But uh, uh, a lot of people said the track was a bit tighter. And um, I think the younger riders have got to learn to back off a little bit and not just race for it. Yes. And obviously, as I said, although we're halfway through the season, because of one reason or another, lots of lads have not done too many meetings. They're still not race fit yet. No, um, I've been quite lucky. I've been riding the rules, so uh, I'm, yeah, I'm probably as I am normally. Um, but yeah, because of the weather and that and conditions, and yeah, we, you know, we're not having as many meetings as we can in England. Um, I think we've still got to go back to grassroots start building up a little bit. I think mean, they're always trying to throw different programs at sport, but it takes time. Thank you very much indeed, Bob. Many congratulations to the top three again in the upright solos. Thank you very much indeed. And we go then to the 500 solos is next. Finishing in third place, Alfie Botel. Finishing in second for place, tremendous performance because he was on a borrowed bike most of the afternoon and he's got a style all of his own to do that on a borrowed machinery. Tremendous performance, second place, Alan Butcher. And 
and the winner of the 500 solos, what a return back to the sport, magnificent performance, and he can it! Okay, Alfie, I know the Speedway commitment is not allow you to do too many meetings. Have you enjoyed it today? Yeah, definitely enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, grateful to be up here. So, yeah. And hopefully the Speedway commitments will allow you to got more grass tracks lined up for the rest of the season. Yeah, there will be a couple. So, I've uh, got one next weekend at Fantasia and then a bit of the Masters as well now. So, looking forward to that. Which do you actually prefer? I know the Speedway is your bread and butter, but this is more for pleasure. Which do you prefer? Both. Uh, yeah, but I enjoy both the same, I just like riding my bike, to be honest, so yeah, enjoy it. Thank you very much, and very well done. Alan, another good performance. What exactly went wrong with the bike? Did you want to borrow a bike? Um, I don't really know what went wrong with it. I haven't got the bike yet. We um, just want to start until you practice and warm up for the first race. Um, maybe electrical, we tried to change everything, but we don't know what we changed as a whole, so it's going to be something to get the bottom of this week. Again, you're busy with the speedway as well, but I think the speedway definitely helped to improve your grass track, hasn't it? Yeah, I've been really busy all year, speedway, um, riding, mechanic, and I've been at track so many times, you know, weekly, driving. So, um, it me really in having a second bike ready, that's, you know, my equipment's been on the grass, I've been started building new bikes, had two new bikes ready, well, not ready, um, riding old equipment and stuff, so I've been a little bit unprepared, which didn't help me today, but I just want to say a big thanks to Andy Whitaker who's lent me a bike today to get me through the meeting and managed to get on the second step, so it's really good. Sunday's in a couple of weeks' time. Yep, we're going to be at the Sun Masters. Um, can't wait for that, really hoping to have a good result. You know, obviously, last year didn't end the way I wanted it to, but you know, I'm just one off target and a really good result there, so hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Thank you very much indeed. Eddie, great return back. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great return back to the sport. Yeah, it's nice to be back. It's uh, nearly two years since I've been the grass bike, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully I've got some more meetings uh, in, in the diary now for the rest of the season, and uh, yeah, it's not that. And you, always, you were glad to see him go down, but a great shame Chad went down because he was really making you work for it in that final, wasn't he? Yeah, I was very happy. With that. <laughs> <laughs> I did say to him, I said, you, you made my day, you got me back up a little bit there. But yeah, fair play to Chad, he's, uh, he's really improved this year, you know, watching him and the meetings I've been to see him, and... Uh, you know, it's the next best thing coming up and uh, it's nice to see, so uh, it's all, all in all, it's a good day racing, it's nice to be back. And as you said, some big meetings coming up and hopefully you'll be taking part in them. Yeah, that's it, you know, and obviously uh, giving a wild card to the Masters as well, which I'm going to do, so uh, I'm literally riding every week now till the Masters, so try and keep fit and uh, start joining it again. Well, then, any many congratulations. Thank you very much indeed for the top three in the 500s. Right, we move on then to the 500 sidecars. What a dramatic day it was in all the races for the 500 sidecars. Finishing in third place today, continuing his improvement in this class, Paul Whiteland and Richard Webb for third place. in second place, Josh Goodwin in Liam Brown. Oh, 
Oh, another excellent performance in the 500 again. Yeah, we, we seem to be getting there, getting used to the bike. Every time we go on it, it's getting better. So, yeah, very pleased with it. Why no thousand today? We started up this morning, there was a big crack in the engine, so we didn't want to risk it. So, not quite such a busy day as you thought you might get today, Richard? It was a lot easier than normal, yeah. That's for sure. yeah. I mean, you're, as a duo, you're getting better and better all the time in this 500 class, aren't you? Thank you, Mum. Yeah, it's, it's a two-man sport. You know, you have to know each other inside out and think the same. You can't just <coughs> go out and ride it like a solo rider. That's for sure. Yeah. Looking forward to the British Championship point? Yeah, it's going to be another learning curve, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Interesting, I understand there are thousand sidecars of the support class. If there is, will you be doing both or just concentrating on the 500? No, we're just going to concentrate on the 500 at that meeting. Hey, thank you very much indeed. Congratulations on third place. Josh and Liam, Josh, still at the start, make hard work for yourself today. Yeah, I can't. For some reason, it's still mind blowing. What I've, Come on, I ain't getting out of the start, so once I can get that bit sorted, then they can hopefully give me a bit of a run into the room having an easy season so far. Another busy day today, Liam, on the five and under thousand. Yeah, I think it's like just getting a habit now where I've just got to just crack on and get on with it. And again, British Championship coming up, any special preparations, or don't you want me to know what your preparations no, are? No, don't tell him, don't tell him. No, it's the same as normal, like, I've got a couple of meetings before the British final, we admit we've got the European, so I've got Van Taylor next week, so I'm going to do a bit of test from the start. That's my, my, my Hopefully. Friend. Catch me because that means you can't friends. take away from me. She's unstoppable and like the way it's going, and he deserves everything that comes. So, no, nice of you to say, not well done, Mitch. First meeting, I think, in the season of this country. Tremendous performance. Yeah, thank you, and thank you to uh, the club and uh, the guys for giving us a good race. Uh, we was in Holland last night, so we're a bit tired today, but um, yeah, we did what we need to do. Um, you pulled you out the bag, didn't you? I'm not getting heckled. I'm getting heckled down in front. I'm going, fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> No, you saw I didn't swear. I didn't swear. We're still getting that good. No, so we've had a really good year. We've done like 14 meetings already. So uh, we've got eight meetings in August. And on the British Championship weekend, we were racing in Holland on the Friday night and the Saturday night. And then we're coming back to race at uh, Duty Sale on the Sunday. So I, I, think they, uh, I think Josh and Liam are doing the same. And there's one or two others. So, uh, yeah, we've got a very busy August with eight meetings. Um, but yeah, it's all going good. Um, it's a lot of organisation and preparation, but uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Paul, you've been doing pastoring for a long time, but obviously once you got behind Mitch and you got settled, this is a whole new ball game for you, isn't it? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's nearly as old as me, so uh, we've uh, got a combined age of uh, well over 100, but yeah, we're, we're acting like two teenagers at the minute and, and loving it. And again, Mitch, Switching to the 500s is no doubt it's prolonged your grasp back career, hasn't it? It's given me a second career, and uh, I'm very, very fortunate, and we're very fortunate to, to have a second bite of the cherry, especially on continental tracks, because you know I thought my days were done. So to go to some of the you know the massive the Herc signs and the, the the really traditional tracks that my dad was at and a lot of other English guys were at back in the day and have another go at it and succeed is, is truly amazing. So I'm I'm, I'm fortunately blessed. Thank you very much indeed gentlemen. Thanks to our sponsors and helping us do all this. You know, we're only on the bike, but there's a lot of people behind us. And uh, special thanks to the families as well that allow us to do this. You're welcome. Well done, Paul. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We move on then to the left-hand side cars, and what a dramatic final that was for all the wrong reasons. Let's hope that everybody has come out of it okay. Finishing in third place, Michael and Tim Phillips.
I've got a little one. It won't go, look. It won't go, look. No, it won't go. Um, it won't go. It left. It won't go. Finishing in second place, Tommy Penfold and William Maiden. And the winner of the left handers, another superb on beat performance. Rob Heath and Carl Fish. Okay, we'll have a word with the gentleman. Uh, Michael and Tim, we were aware of the mayhem that was going on behind you in that final? No, we didn't have a clear, to be honest, until we seen the red flags. And we, we did think they were going to restart it, but obviously they didn't. So. That did all okay, mate. You were having a cracking race there with Tommy for that second place at the time, weren't you? Yeah, it was close. Good days racing. Did you enjoy it? Enjoyed it today? Yeah, definitely. Well worth the five hours of driving to get to it. Tom, drama in the practice when you were in the white court four, I think, didn't it? It did, it got a bit warm down below. <laughs> yeah, we got it out, we got a new bike out, well the old bike out, got that going. Then, yeah. Yeah. Did you actually have the whole bike with you or did you have to go back and get it? No, we had to nip off and go and get it, luckily we're only two minutes down the road, but John's a bit greedy so we've got enough free eyes still. <laughs> you think it was a start and you needed to get your fired up for the rest of the day's racing? Oh, I think so. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> scrap the game with your Phillips the third, second and third, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant riders. I haven't come in, boys. It's been really good. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Thank you. Rob, Mr. Versatility, quads, left-handers, right-handers, winner again today. Yeah, it's only the left-handers I win, though. Oh, and the odd quad. Um, yeah, good day. We haven't win the left-hander for probably the best part of eight, eight, nine months. That's our first meeting back, and yeah, I'm over the moon. Cracking, mate, cracking starts for you made life so much easier, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we sort of in the first one, changed a couple of things to the second one, and for the rest of the day it went like a rock on rails. I mean, all the other, the other heats, second and third it was mayhem, but you made the start and you just had a clear run all the afternoon, didn't you? Yeah, to be honest, quite tight corners and it was cutting up a little bit, so just fast up the straight, slowing it in the corners, knowing that going round the outside of me was going to be a long way, so uh, yeah, we just controlled it really. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Many congratulations on your third first three places. Thank you. Right, the final awards are for the right-hand sidecars. Once again, they did not disappoint us. Fabulous, fabulous final. Finishing in third place, Terry Saunters and Liam Brown. Finishing in second place, Mark Cosser and Carl Bray.
And the winner of the right-handers today, he really is putting together some fabulous results in this 2023 season. What a scrap it was at the front there with uh, Brother Mark. Fabulous winning performance. Tom Crossroom, way record! Okay, thank you, <laughs> Terry and Liam. Terry, not quite quick enough out to start today. Um, yeah, I'd say not as quick, but yeah, I've still got to sort of return first, and yeah, obviously with these boys, you leave one little gap, and that's it. They're, they're gone. If you don't leave a gap, they make a gap, don't they? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes they do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but no, it's been, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been tough. It's been a tough day, so, but no, it's good racing. Yeah, it's been good. Track was up to its scratch, so, yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Now, raging for his corners out there today. No, that's, I think that's, that's the enjoyment of it. That's what makes it entertaining for everyone and as long as you all finish the race and come back in in one piece then Absolutely yeah that's right. it's, it's not i don't think anyone means to go in hard hard it's just one of them it just it's it happens racing. and racing. carry on on this time to you what gives you the biggest thrill that on the back with him or on the back with josh goodwin well it's uh touchy subject <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's just one of them it's um yeah, I enjoy I enjoy both. It's it's harder on the 500 over here. I, I I'll be honest, I hate racing the 500 over here. It's the tracks don't give it any justice. And um, yeah, so like with the suspension and things on the thousand, it it makes it more easy to ride. Thank you very much indeed. We move across then to Mark. Mark, a very eventful day, and yet another standing passenger this afternoon. Wow, well, he's not standing no more. <laughs> That's the uh, uh, gas is out for the season, so yeah, he's in operation, so he can't ride. So Carl jumps on with 40 hours notice, first time on a bike in four years. So, yeah. You're going to carry on with him, mate? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think he did great considering. So yeah, we'll uh, get some fitness between us and push on for the Masters. As Mark has just said, it's been a long time since you've been on the back, uh, Carl. Tremendous performance to get second today. Yes, uh, I'm happy and gutted. Because I think my fitness cost is the last lap in the final, but no, don't such is life. And well, I can't ask for much more. Two operations are three years later. Like you said, 48 hours notice. I'm happy going don't home. Yourself, have you don't noticed, as Mark said, it's four years since you've been. You must have noticed a big difference in the speed, the aggression that this class has got now, hasn't it? Um, it's more of forgetting how harsh they pull than actually doing it now. It's alright. It's just fitness. Right. Right. Obviously each meet you'll get fitter and fitter. Well yeah, now me and the, the youngin will be going to the gym until the Masters every day. <laughs> well done, many congratulations. Thank you Mark. Tom, another big victory. The results are really coming good this year. Yeah, it's, it's nice to actually do a final to win a meeting. The, the, the meetings we have won this year have been cancelled due to issues, so to get out there in the, in the final and mix it up is brilliant. brilliant. Well, it must be pretty pacey behind him at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very challenging, but we, we made it. No the big meetings coming up, Tom. You're going to be in them all? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, more, more trouble is I'm on my own business, so um, I miss GTS here due to work commitments, but I'm certainly trying as much as I can to make the meetings, get the bike prepared. You know, but I don't think people understand the, the effort it takes to get these bikes out there and be competitive. So we do, Brad, I'd, we I'd, do. I'd, Yeah, I'm fingers crossed the next, well, we've got Fantasia next between me and Wayne and the, uh, and the Masters, so yeah. We it's do, nice. Brad, we it's, do. You're finally getting some good results. I mean, this young. Your brother has been leading the way for a long time. You're really, really making him work hard now, aren't you? But this is what it's all about. Nobody, nobody wants to see people out the front. We all know Mark's like epic, 
but you know, to have us all there mixing it up, it's what everyone needs, what everyone wants, and I know Mark quite enjoys the scraps, so it's, you know, we're all, we're, we're all, we're all having fun out there, like, uh, like Liam said. We're all going home in one piece, that's the main thing. Absolutely. Well done and very well said. Thank you very much and a fabulous time again in the Thousand Sidecars. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. well that concludes the presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with us to have a safe journey home. Don't be that fantasia next week. Thank you very much.